What's up guys, it is me Jill, I'm back with another video for you guys and for this video I'm basically going to give you guys the video that you've all been waiting for from literally Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, literally all my social media platforms on what happened to my self-defense keychain business. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I am officially done. Um, I, you know, it took definitely took a lot of thought. Um, I thought to myself, is this something that I just want to stop and then continue eventually? But I just came to mind that I'm officially done. I'm literally trying to, you know, just focus on other things because I know there's better things out there for me for sure. Even though this one was very successful, there's still better options out there, believe it or not, even if it's so hard to believe for myself. But honestly, I think there's something better out there for me. Um, I'm just done fighting for my money. I'm done, you know. I guess trying to make things fair to me as a business owner small at that and it's just like I don't know I honestly wish I jumped in this business with more research um, that's something I definitely regret so if you're thinking about starting a self-defense keychain business I definitely recommend watching this video just because there's a lot of information that I didn't know that probably would have stopped me from making it from the jump and I'm gonna give you guys those you know things I wish I knew um, but yeah, y'all, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you're not mad at me. I definitely want to start another business in the future, but self-defense keychains are just not for me. And obviously, it will always be in my heart, because that's the first successful business that I've ever done. From lip gloss, to jewelry, to clothes, this is the most successful one by far. I'm gonna thank y'all enough for it, because this is all y'all fault. Um, in a good way, obviously. I just want to say, I definitely wasn't making a profit, um... I just want to say be aware to at least spend a couple thousand on inventory because it is not cheap. The only reason why I was able to afford the inventory was because of my unemployment I was getting and I just saved some checks from that and just spent it all on my self-defense keychain business. So I want to say I definitely didn't make a profit and if I did it was towards the end which was like $100 which is not good at all. Um, I basically bought my inventory just to make the inventory money back plus maybe like $50 more which was literally not good. Everybody knows that you're supposed to make some type of profit. It doesn't have to be a big profit but it has to be some type of profit. Um, but yeah y'all it just wasn't for me a lot of complications. Even with like my um what is it called my whole uh, what is it called my vendors like my vendors would you know things wouldn't go right and it's just like they didn't know what I meant and as for this color just be prepared for a lot of confusion honestly um you gotta be patient definitely be patient and it's just crazy because i don't know it's just y'all it's just a lot i gotta say and i wish i wrote it down before i said it and i know i'm probably all over the place but yeah another thing honestly if you're going to start a self-defense keychain business i recommend shopify um, you can do Shopify payments, which is like a payment provider um, designed by Shopify, but they will kick you off for selling weapons, and that's something I didn't know. They end up kicking me off maybe like three weeks after I started selling, which was, you know, quite some time, but they still kicked me off, so I was confused. I was talking to other self-defense keychain businesses, like I talked to Diamond Defense, and I was really um friends with secure creations we don't really talk that much anymore just because you know we're not selling the same thing anymore but yeah i did talk to them too and i know that one of them used authorized.net and it literally took them a month just to get back to me my account is still not approved to this day um i've been waiting for quite some time i spent money on it it didn't work and then i tried quickbooks and quickbooks end up taking 500 dollars away from me um, I was very annoyed and frustrated and I'm still annoyed and frustrated thinking about it but it's just like whatever because at the end of the day that is easy money that I can easily get back but it's still you know money you should take pride of your money don't let anybody take your money fight for your money honestly nobody told me QuickBooks didn't allow knives but they allowed pepper spray and like sharp objects but they didn't allow knives or like disguisable knife which is really stupid to me if you're going to allow pepper spray you can at least allow knives if you want to continue using quickbooks you got to remove your knives and i couldn't remove my knives because those were the best sellers but it was just a lot 
of work and I just wasn't willing to you know work with that I just got fed up and I was just finished so yeah and then when I end up making my money for my knives they end up keeping it they didn't give it to me I wanted to cash out my money they didn't allow me to so it was just a lot of work and I just wasn't willing to you know just go back and forth because honestly I contacted them five different times um, I talked to an operator online operator on the phone operator on email and still no money so I just said you know forget it I left them a bad review and that was that so that's why I'm not you know dealing with my self-defense keychains anymore um, it's definitely something I take pride in yes but I'm just finished so if you guys wanna ask me any questions feel free in the comments down below if you guys are willing to make a self-defense keychain business after this video then i recommend trying authorize.net yes it will take them a while to you know actually get back to you guys but i feel like that's the best bet for self-defense items or knives or whatever tasers stun guns whatever you have to pay extra money to you know be able to receive money from them so not only shopify takes a fee off the place, the payment provider takes a fee off, and you have to pay them monthly to get your money from them. So it was just a lot of money, and I just wasn't willing to, you know, put forth to that. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what else you want to see next. If you have any more questions, let me know. God bless you all.